Hi everyone, this is Maggie from Esri Canada's Technical Support. And this is the first video in a series that we are creating to help you get started with using ArcGIS Pro. In this video, I will be showing you how to download and install ArcGIS Pro and then license it for use. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is acquire a download for the ArcGIS Pro software. And there are two places that you can find this. The first thing you can do is sign into your My Esri account. Once you're signed into My Esri, you will see that there is an organization section or My Organizations with a subsection called Downloads. When you open the Downloads page, the products that you have available will automatically load and the first one listed you'll see is ArcGIS Pro. When you select View Downloads, this will open a page that shows all of the components of ArcGIS Pro that are available to download. The majority of these components you won't need as they are requiring a special license, but you will want to download the very first one, which is the ArcGIS Pro main, uh, main component, the main application. When you select the download button, the download will begin and you'll be able to start the installation process. If you do have an ArcGIS Pro license, but you are not the administrator of the MyEsri site for your organization, or you don't have access to the downloads page, there's another location that it can be found, and this is in ArcGIS Online. When you sign into your ArcGIS Online page, you can find a download for Pro through your user profile. So if you select your user, navigate to your profile, and open up the settings for that user, you'll see on the left hand side that there's a licenses tab. When you open this, the licenses that your organization has access to are listed and you'll see that ArcGIS Pro is there and available for download. In the same way you did in MyEsri, you can simply click on this and begin the process of downloading. Once the download is complete, you should be able to open up the file and run the download program. The program will open to this ArcGIS Pro destination folder for files location. It is best if you keep the folders installed on the C drive of your machine as this is the default location, although if you need to set it somewhere else for your configuration, you can always change the location here. Now it will begin to start extracting the files. Great, and we can launch the installation. Once you close, the installation will launch automatically. And here it is, the ArcGIS Pro setup program has opened up on my computer, and we can click through the options here and get this program installed. It's important that you review this master's agreement when you're installing any of our products. And once you've reviewed all of the settings here, you'll be able to move forward. You want to accept the agreement after reading it and continue on with the installation. Here you can decide if this is an installation that's going to be for anyone who uses this computer. For example, if you're in a computer lab or you have a shared workspace and you want more than one person to have access, or if it's going to be only for your specific user. I will allow it for anyone who uses this machine. Here you can decide if you would like something to be installed in a specific location or if it should be installed at all. I'm going to leave it as the default and continue. Now you should be able to complete the installation. The install will begin and it may take some time to complete, And once, but once this uh, bar is all the way to the end, you'll be able to start using ArcGIS Pro. Great, our installation was successful. We can click finish and then we're done with this portion of getting started. Next we'll have to work on licensing. When we're finished with the install, you'll see that ArcGIS Pro opens up automatically and asks you to sign in with your ArcGIS login. This is your ArcGIS online account, so it's not the same as the MyEsri account, but it's where you sign in to the URL ArcGIS.com, and it was the second location we looked at for finding a download for ArcGIS Pro. ArcGIS Pro has three ways that it can be licensed. The first is using your ArcGIS online login and username. This is the most common method and so we will look at that first, although there are other ways that it can be licensed which you may have in your organization. It really depends on how your system is set up and the kind of licenses that you've purchased. So we'll start by looking at signing in with a username and having licenses assigned that way. 
you'll need to sign into your ArcGIS Online account, which I am already signed in from before, and if you, you'll need to have administrative privileges to assign licenses to a user. So we'll need to go to the organization section of this account, and here we'll be able to get access to how to assign those licenses. There are two methods in ArcGIS Online for assigning licenses, and we'll take a look at both of those. The first option is using this Licenses tab, which is a sub-tab of the Organization section. There you'll see a list of all the products that are available to assign to users in ArcGIS Online. In my case, there is no ArcGIS Pro main license listed. It would typically be here, because the user types that I have in my organization are automatically assigned licenses when those users are created. However, you can see all of the extensions that I have for ArcGIS Pro listed below. If you have an ArcGIS Pro license to assign someone, it'll appear in a similar style just below the ArcGIS Pro section. If you'd like to assign any of these licenses for any users, including the main ArcGIS Pro program, you'll just need to select Manage. This is going to open up a list with any members in your organization who are able to use ArcGIS Pro licenses or extensions, and all you need to do is toggle them on or off. When you turn a license on for a user, you'll be asked if you'd like to send an email to that user to get that let them know that you've assigned a license to them. In this case, I'm assigning it to myself, so I'll skip that. You can repeat this step with every license that you have available for your users that you would like them to work with. And as soon as you've done that change, it's automatically saved and they'll be able to sign in to ArcGIS Pro and use those licenses. The other method you can use is through the Members section. Here you'll see a list of any member in your organization, and one of the key features of this page are these three gray dots to the far right of your user. When you select those users, it'll open up a menu with different options for how to manage that user. We're going to select Manage Add-on Licenses. Here you'll see a list again of every product that you have, but in this case you can turn on multiple products for the same user at once. And again, you have the option to email users when you've made a change to their licensing. You can see here that this is where ArcGIS Pro would turn on or off typically for users, but because of my license type, it's automatically assigned to my user and I cannot turn it on or off, although in many cases you will have that option here. You can select all the extensions or just some in particular that you might want to use for this user and then just click Save. Once you've made that save, they'll be able to sign into ArcGIS Pro and work with those licenses as normal so they can sign in right here as soon as that change has been made in ArcGIS Online. The two other methods for licensing your product are using a single-use and concurrent-use license. These are the same license types that you would see when you're working with the ArcGIS desktop product or ArcMap, and the, you may be more familiar with that style, but they're much less common when working with ArcGIS Pro. If you are one of those organizations who has those types of licenses, you're going to want to select this Configure Your Licensing Options section at the very bottom of the sign-in page. This is going to open up a licensing page where you can set the type of license that you're using. By default, it's going to be Named User, but you can select the drop-down and switch it to Single Use or Concurrent Use Licenses. Let's take a look at Single Use first. Here you can see I've selected the the advanced level license for the single use product and I do not have it authorized on my machine. So what you need to do is select the authorize button at the bottom. This will open the software authorization wizard and it's the same authorization wizard that you are likely familiar with from the ArcGIS desktop authorizing process. We'll look through this briefly today, although I won't be assigning myself a license this way as I already have assigned my user a license in ArcGIS Online to use Pro. I'm going to have it as the default because we've already installed our software and we need to get it authorized. If you have access to the internet, it is recommended that you use this method of uh, authorizing with the internet. So continue. Here you're going to fill in your personal information and some information about the organization. Here are simple drop downs to categorize your organization and your position in that organization. And then, just like with ArcGIS Desktop, you're going to enter your authorization number. That authorization number is found in MyESRI, and it's going to be a nine-digit code that starts with ESU in the same way it is for the desktop product. 
You'll notice here it does say ArcGIS Desktop Advanced, although this is the process for ArcGIS Pro. It's only that this program was designed for the desktop product, uh, so don't be concerned if you see a different name there. Once you've entered that authorization number in, you'll be able to continue through the process and authorize it just like you would with the desktop product. Your other option for licensing is to use a concurrent use license. And this is the license where you've authorized it on a licensed server and then you are checking out the license from your machine. So let's switch it to concurrent use licenses. Okay, perfect. We've got our concurrent use license set up and you can see that there's an option to enter your license manager. My license manager is set to local host because I've already installed the license manager or license server administrator on my machine and I have licenses authorized on that in, from past licensing. If you have a license manager installed on your machine, you can also use local host. Although if you have it installed on a different machine that you're connecting to, you're going to have to include the location of the license manager or the machine name of your license manager to connect. Once you're connected, all available licenses will appear in this list and you can simply turn them on by clicking on the box and saying OK to continue. If you have a concurrent use or single use license, you won't have to worry about signing in. Once you click OK, the licensing will switch to the correct type and you'll be able to use ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to turn it back to named user for this example. Okay. Because I've switched it to named user again, I'm asked to sign in. So I'll put in your username from ArcGIS Online and your password. And there you go, you're ready to get started with ArcGIS Pro. I hope you found this video helpful and it got you through the process of installing and licensing your new ArcGIS Pro software. If so, please go ahead and like this video and leave us some comments below. You can also subscribe to Esri Canada for more videos in our Getting Started with ArcGIS Pro series or any of our other videos that help you with our different software products. Thanks for watching and happy mapping!